Welcome to Atlantis, Paradise Island. For more than a century, the rich and famous have come to the Bahamas from the Queen and Winston Churchill to the Beatles and countless US presidents. Tiger Woods and Oprah Winfrey are having massive great mansions built just down the beach here. And now look who's turned up. Six men intent on winning the biggest prize in one of the toughest sports on earth. And here's how one of them is going to win this, the Metrex Trophy for the world's strongest man. We've reverted from the heats where it was an 11 event round robin competition to the more traditional format. Six men, eight events, one winner. And these are the six finalists from Sweden, Magnus Samuelsson. From Latvia, Raymond Spergmanis. From Norway, Svent Karlsson. From Ukraine, Vasil Virostruk. From Lithuania, Zydrunas Zavikas. And from Poland, and twice the winner, Marius Kuzinowski. Carry race. First up in this year's final, carry this 16 stone anchor, 25 metres. Sprint back as fast as possible, and then it's 25 stones in each hand to the finish line. What a way to start the final. It's all about speed, endurance and grip strength. Beneath crystal blue skies, commentary from Paul Dickinson. That was a perfect description by Jamie, all about this first event. And what a performance we could see here. Two former champions, Magnus Samuelsson and Sven Carlsen, up against this guy, Zidrina Savikas, who's finished second in the previous two finals. Great atmosphere here. Good cheers for Sven Carlsen. I hope he's over the injury he suffered in the heats. And finally, the giant Magnus Samuelsson, one of the most charismatic strongmen in recent years. This is all about time. The fastest time to complete the two legs of this carrying race will win. And Samuelsson, the first to get away. Remembering what Jamie said about sprinting, back to the farmer's walk. Take a look at this. These guys can motor as well. A little bit of stiffness in those legs, but 11 events they had to go through, of course, in the heats. And this is where Magnus Samuelsson comes into his own. He's a master of carrying, especially in the farmer's walk. And that looks perfect so far from Samuelsson. He's going to set the fastest time so far, which he does. 32.34, Zavikas in second place, 35.03. And Sven Carlsen, not surprisingly, in view of the problems he had earlier, 44.56 in third place for the moment. But a good start to this final by the Swede, Magnus Samuelsson. Well, that was a kind of declaration of intent, wasn't it? I know coming into this final, I have a few events that I probably will have problems with, depending a little bit on my size. But uh, the key for me now is to score as high as possible in all events that I can score in. That's fair enough. That's precisely what he has to do. There are three superb performers here that are going to go up against the rest. Raymond Bogdanovic, first of all. And already Marius Budzanovsky going for three titles in a row is pumped up. And then this great Ukrainian, Vasil Varastyuk. Looking good, thumbs up for the Ukrainian. Now, this is going to be fascinating. Who's going to get away to the fastest start? It's Varastyuk. The biggest man of these three, but the fastest away. Puzanovsky is no slouch though. Look at him go. That is real class sprinting. But has he got what it takes to get these two giant weights? of 335 pounds down the course quickest. No, he hasn't. Varastyuk is going to go all the way. Well, I spoke too soon. Varastyuk is down, but he's only got a couple of meters to go. And I think he's won it. 29.43. Unbelievable. Puzanovsky, 35.56. Not as fast as he had hoped. And Raymond Bergmanis bringing up the rear, just finishes now, 42.37. So the winner overall in the very first event in this year's final, a magnificent performance by Vasil Varastyuk. 
the perfect start for you. What did you think about it? It was exactly what I needed to do. Make a perfect start. I've done my bit. Now you will see. Yes, I'm very strong. 100%. Go final. Talking a good game, but are seeds of doubt being sown in the mind of Marius Pujanovsky, Virostruk looking mighty powerful. Fridge carry. The combined weight of these fridges is over 64 stones. They've got to be carried 30 metres. You must keep moving steadily down the course. The last thing you want to do is freeze. Well, the first two competitors, Bergmanis and Carlsen, didn't get away to a good start in the first event. So they need big points here. The fridge carry is Sven Carlsen's favourite event. He's usually in the top three at this all the time, but he's carrying an injury, so this could favour Ray Bergmanis. Lust! Well, we often refer to the weights in World's Strongest Man as the equivalent of a full fridge. So the irony is, this time we have got two fridges. And it's Carlsen who's away quickest. I have to say, that looks extraordinarily difficult. The balance is going to be absolutely important. And Bergmanis now is falling miles behind. It's the Norwegian, despite the injury, who's going to take first place for the time being. A solid time by Sven Carlsen, 24.37. He looks absolutely shattered, I have to say. And Bergmanis, well, this has been a real struggle for him. He's normally so quick across the ground, but not when you've got 904 pounds bearing down on your back. Well done to Bergmanis, he finishes. It's a slow 44.12. And for the time being, Carlsen is in the lead. No doubt about that. Good effort by Sven, but he needs good points. I said that earlier. Was that mind over matter? Yes, very much so. Because uh, every time I stepped down on my left leg, my head said, it's not going to work. But my heart says, keep on going. Even though the bad thing is that competing when you're only half machine is very tough mentally because this was a very good final for me with all the events we have here. But uh, I think what I'm doing now is very brave. I think everybody would agree with that. Well, the next two competitors, Marius Pujanovsky and Zidrunas Savikas, finished in first Take and second place in last year's final. Brilliant performances they were too. Savik has picked up some good points in his last event, but now in the fridge carry, he's going against Marius Pudzianowska, who's got his back against the wall. Lift! He certainly has the defending champion, but Pudzianowska it is who gets away to the fastest start. What a brilliant stride down this course, goes Marius. Oh, there are metres between himself and Savikas, and Savikas is no slouch. But it's Marius who's coming away. Remember the time as Carlson, 24.37, and he's absolutely destroyed it. 16.3 seconds, and even Savikas with 20.8 has moved into second place, but miles behind this man. Take your position. Well, now it's the turn of Magnus Samuelsson and Vasil Varastio. The two leaders head to head in the fridge carry. Samuelson's height is a disadvantage here. I expect Varaschuk to smoke this course. Left! Well, we'll have to wait and see, but Jamie's pretty knowledgeable on these sort of things, and Varaschuk has got away brilliantly. Oh. Well, he's put acres of space between himself and the Swedish champion. Varaschuk is coming away. Can he challenge the time set by Pudzianowski? Yes, he can! Absolutely superb, 15-0-3 and he's number one in an event for the second time in a row. Well, Jamie Reeves absolutely right. He said Samuelson would struggle, and that's precisely what he has done. But Vasil Varastyuk was incredible. Two events and two wins. You can't get any better than that. The same three men who dominated the competition last year could well be the key figures once again. And looking at the scoreboard after two events, already you sense that the competition may be splitting into two. Squat lift. 
this could be real torture for Sven Carson of Norway. The left thigh heavily strapped, and if there is any bleeding at all in the muscle, he could really suffer, and he may not even take any further part in the competition. This could be real agony for a former world's strongest man. This is not about bonus points or anything that we had in the heats. This is all about the number of repetitions that you can do. No, he shakes his head and he says no. Oh, that hurt. When that barrel went into the cage, that really hurt Sven Carlsen. A brave effort. Very disappointing indeed for Carlsen. We're only into event three, but I think his challenge has well and truly gone. This is never a good event for Samuelsson, and so it proved again just two lifts for the giant Swede. Raymond Bergmanis in the habit of changing his hairstyle, but he's good at this. He managed five lifts, and so did Marius Bujanovski, although his time was quicker. And so the target has been set at five repetitions by Raymond Bergmanis and Marius Bujanovski, and that is what Zavikas has to challenge. He is a former silver medalist in the World Powerlifting Championships and squat is a very important exercise in that sport. So we're expecting this guy to be very good indeed. First started competing in 1992. Lust. Here is a very talented strongman. He's been Stand involved out. in powerlifting and squat. strong events now for well over a decade. And of course, as I said earlier, the target set at five, and so far he's making this look very easy. Has to wait for the barrels to be loaded, otherwise I think he would have done about ten by now. This is terrific stuff. Now is he going to do all seven lifts? I suspect he might, you know. And this will do his challenge in terms of going to the top of the table, the power of good. He's already gained two third places. This might be a first place. And he hardly broke sweat. Zavikas is definitely the king of the squat at the moment. Well, what an impression Vasil Varastyuk has made on this World's Strongest Man final so far. Two first places in a row. Now, if he's going to go ahead of Zavikas, he's got to do all seven lifts in a faster time. 33.13 was Zavikas' time. Stands out! Squat! So here we go. Go left! Looks comfortable. Squat! A little bit frustrating to have go to left. wait for those barrels to go on. Squat! He's making go this left. look pretty easy. Squat! I know it's no indication as to how strong go a man left. is just by the size of his legs. But Zavikas is a little bit thicker around the thighs than Verastiuk. But both he and his brother, Roman Verastiuk, the great shot putter, will be doing lots of this sort of exercise, I'm sure, in the gym. Stands in. Oh, he wants the stands in. Now, he won't go for number seven. Six lifts is enough. Two first places in the first two events, and now a second place. Verastiuk is looking superb. Well, Zvikas obviously managing to narrow the gap on the Ukrainian there, who may or may not be playing a dangerous game. But it's clear, even at this stage, that Samuelson and Bergmanis need big scores soon if they're going to stay in contention. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Welcome back to Atlantis, Paradise Island. A 
really don't understand how Sven Carlsen has managed to drag himself off his sickbed because of that left thigh take problem to take part in this event. Lift. So here we go. Down. Slow and steady. Good lift. Lift. Actually, a lot of the deadlifters these days, it's more Down. about back than it is in terms of leg lift. lifting. And he is using his back a lot there and just locking out his legs Good at the lift. last minute. So this lift. is not too bad, I suspect, on Sven Carlsen's thigh. Down. Good lift. Has he had enough? He wouldn't be at all surprised if he had had enough, but he's getting more chalk on his hands. Count it down, please. There is a time limit of 75 seconds, so he's got the time to do that. And I'm sure when we see some of the competitors after Sven Carson, we're going to see totals way in excess of five lifts. So he needs every little bit extra that he can. Oh, he's bleeding again. Oh, my goodness. A lot of pressure being built up with each left. That is five repetitions. And once again... I can't emphasize too much just how brave an effort that was from the former champion. Another former champion next, Sweden's Magnus Samuelsson, who by his own admittance does not like this event one little bit. Lift. So a massive weight as always, 683 pounds, always oh, struggling already. Now, is that a back problem? Quite often with deadlifting, the lower muscles in the back often go into spasm. I hope that hasn't happened to Magnus, who goes down for it once more, locks his fingers around that bar, drags it up his thighs, and that is one lift, and I suspect that might be enough. He just did enough for a point, but I fear he's going to end up in last place here, and he can't afford to do that. Well, this could be easy pickings for Raymond's Bergmanis. And just take a look at his haircut. Unbelievable. I think we should nickname him the Latvian Monk now. <laughs> but Bergmanis is good at this lift. Make no mistake. He must have made this movement in gymnasiums many, many thousands of times in preparation for his Olympic lifting. So five is the target. Sven Carlsen, the injured Norwegian, still in the lead. But no more. Bergmanis moves on. It's all looking terribly familiar. We've seen this performance from Bergmanis before in past World's Strongest Man competitions. Just a little bit of a tear on the hands there. The dried out skin will be being pulled to shreds by that bar. But he carries on, he ignores the pain. Good lift. And this is a good lift. total by the Latvian. It's not Down. fast, it's not good explosive. Lift. It's long and steady and very, very strong. Certainly the fatigue is set in now for Bergmanis. He's got to get it to arm's length and straighten up to be given it by the referee, Douglas Edmonds. Good lift. No lift, says Dougie. Nine repetitions for Raymond's Bergmanis. That is a superb total. The Latvian is in first place. Well, a prodigious total was set by Bergmanis. Now it's the turn of the defending champion. Lift. Marius Puzhanovsky has shown what a brilliant lifter Good he lift. is in the gym lift. and in World's Strongest Man in the past. Good lift. Lift. When he won his first title, I Down. think, if my Good memory lift. serves me well, lift. he won the first three events. Down. He hasn't done that Good here. Lift. In lift. fact, finished fourth in his first event, then Down. second, then a first. Lift. Lift. But that has meant he's 12 points Down. in total, Good five lift. points behind lift. the overall leader, Vasil Varastyuk. So he certainly has Down. got a bit to prove. Lift. That is seven lifts take. so far, so going well. Down. And still plenty of time in the bank. 75 seconds, the time limit. And what a spectacular Down. location lift. for lift. this event. Eight lifts, one more to draw level with Raymond's Bergmanis. Solid muscle is Marius. Down. And Good that lift. has drawn level lift. with Raymond's Bergmanis. One more to go into the lead. Down. 
He wants to know what sort of time is left. He can't hear anybody tell him. He's just got to get on with it now. Now one more makes him a clear leader and it could be two event wins in a row. Yes, he's got it. 10 repetitions all together, right on the stroke of full time. His hands were nearly torn off there, but that is a very impressive performance from the champion from last year and the year before. He's asking for confirmation in terms of how many lifts. Somebody shouted out 10. That was superb. Boy, is he going to be tough to beat. That is for sure. Well, this is the man that's been worrying, Marius Pudzianowski. Take your grip. Vasil Verastyuk of the Ukraine. And already two first places and a second. Lift. Well, it really was a heck of a total set by Marius. Ten repetitions. Down. Good lift. And when lift. you think that the weight being lifted is effectively Down. nearly 700 pounds. Lift. I mean, that is phenomenal. But Vrastiuk is on his way. Down. Tough competitor. Three lift. reps so far. Sven Carlson on five. Down. And he's Good in second lift. place lift. behind Pudzianowski at You're the moment. Dave. He's got plenty of time left, as Dougie Edmonds has just been saying to him. I think this guy is more at home when he's got to push things rather than lifting them off the deck. Good lift. Not bad lift. at all. So Verastia trying to make some headway on Marius Pujanovski. Just get the feeling though that the pole has produced one of his best efforts in this final so far in producing those 10 reps. You've got to lock the fingers around that bar and stop it rotating. There's only about 10 seconds to go now. One mammoth effort required to get this final repetition up. He's wobbling a bit, but Douglas Edmonds says yes. And the customary cry of joy from Vasil Verastiuk. He's not going to win the competition with those six reps, but it is nevertheless a very, very good effort once again. Well, when Pujanovsky was interviewed after his event Take in the deadlift, grip. he mentioned Verastiuk, but he didn't mention Zavikas. And Zavikas, at the moment, is still ahead of the pole by some two points. Going to be interesting to see what happens here. Lift. Well, I have to say, this guy is hey, Mr. Money. Consistency at the moment. Down. He's producing Good some lift. very lift. solid performances and is still there Down. fighting Good for lift. this title. Lift. Despite the fact we're only halfway through. Down. We're just approaching the halfway lift. stage lift. at the end of this event. That is Down. looking good. good lift. Lift. The first target is the six reps by Vasil Verastiuk. And then lift. of course we've got Raymond's Bergmanis and of course the magnificent Pujanovsky on ten. Good lift. Lift. Just slowing down a little bit here. But certainly this former power lifter will be very confident about this exercise. A little bit more chalk now on the hands. Just easing out the back, stretching the back muscles. A little bit of a blow. Get some oxygen in those lungs. You notice he's not wearing any shoes. That gets him in a better position to make the lift from. He's got seven reps so far, so he's in third place. Can he make any further advance on that? He's asking for the amount of time left. Five seconds. Five seconds just. I don't think he's going to have any more attempts. So Zavikas, third, third, first, and now he's going to be in third place once more. But that event was all about Pujanovsky, who's got a big, big six points in this event. And this entire competition could well have swung on that one event. Bergmanis picking up good points to remain a credible force, but the defending champion Pujanovsky showing why he is always the man to beat. Safe lift. And so the first man to attempt this safe lift is the giant Magnus Samuelson, desperately in need of big points. Samuelson, well over six feet five inches tall. Down. And the weight of this safe Down. has been increased by 10 kilograms since the heats. Down. And three lifts there. Easy peasy for Magnus. Down. This is very impressive, actually. He's got good balance. 
And as we've seen, that is so important. This is a superb performance so far by Samuelson. Maybe producing his best performance so far when it is required most. Great effort by Samuelson. Eight repetitions so far, but that is his first no lift. Way, way off balance. Oh, he's rectified it now, though. That is nine. A supreme effort by Magnus Samuelson at the moment. A little bit wobbly there. I'm not sure that one is going to count either. That's better. Solid as a rock. Well, this certainly is Magnus's best performance in World's Strongest Man final so far this year, but that won't be counted either. I spoke too soon. And this is going to put pressure on everybody else. That is much, much better. And there goes the whistle. 13 repetitions for the Swede. And that is the sort of performance that we can expect from this great, great strongman of years gone by. In this sport, everybody have different skills and different physique. And so far in this contest, the final have tested strength that is not really a weakness, but not my favorite, so to speak. My, my pride and joy is my upper body, especially my arms and chest and shoulders. And uh, this felt like absolutely nothing. The only problem is uh, to find a balance. And uh, I'm sure I had a few more reps in me. And I needed something to do to, to go right now, just to get my confidence back and to get proof that I'm, I'm still strong. And uh, we have used the legs now in almost every event, so it's time to use the shoulders and chest. OK, it's now the turn of Sven Carlsen. I'm utterly amazed he's actually out here, still fighting. Lust. What a target Samuelson has set. Down. Well, we know how strong this guy can be, but is he at full Down. strength in terms of his fitness? I doubt it. That's Down. number three, locking it out. You heard what Magnus said about the balance, no! and that is so, so important. And Carlson, well, he's got the technique taped, a little push of the legs. No! His arms aren't as long as Samuelson's. That will help, believe me. No! Trying for number six. No! A little bit wobbly. He's got to keep it inside that red area on the platform. Now beginning to look fatigued, and now I bet his left thigh is going to be very sore indeed. Douglas Edmonds watches intently. That is seven. Terrific effort from Sven Carlsen. Been injured, really, since the very first event of this final. No. Any more? Oh, he's limping off the platform. So seven is the score. It's Scandinavia in first and second place for the time being. How much longer can Carlsen keep going for? Raymond Bergmanis found this a really hard event despite his weightlifting pedigree, just five lifts, whereas Puzhanovsky managed 11, although that wasn't going to be enough. How are you feeling now? Oh, bad, bad. I'm very, very tired. Oh, pain, hands, legs, back, whole pain. Oh, 20 minutes may be, may be good. But Janowski looks absolutely exhausted. Well, here is our overall leader, Vasil Verastyuk, still chasing the lead set by Magnus Samuelsson. 13 repetitions. Get ready. Another very important moment for the Ukrainian. Lust. No. Oh, super strong, but he's got to sort out that technique. It's a little bit ragged. This is all raw strength and power. Not much in the way of technique that you can talk about here. That won't count. So he's got two at the moment. Leaning back a little bit. There goes number three. I have to say, it would be lovely to see Samuelson win one. We'll have to wait and see. That's five. Verastia is raw power. He really is in every sense of the word. He's a comparative novice in strongman no. competition. But gaining inexperience all the no. time and leading by two points at the moment from Savikas and from Pujanovsky. No. 
Well, he doesn't seem to be tiring at all here. Oh, he's got to watch the balance there. That does count. It was very close to being a failure. That is 11. Two more to go to draw level with Samuelson. He really was leaning back miles there just to try and lock out his arms. One more to draw level. He's got it. But unfortunately for the Ukrainian, Samuelson was a shade quicker with his 13 reps, so the Swede is still in the lead. Total exhaustion for Vrastia. So the final competitor, Zidrina Savikas. ready. He's got two men with 13 repetitions, and of course, Pajanovsky has got 11. Lift. So how will this guy fare? Not used to no. overhead lifting. Certainly he's a great bench presser, but that is lying no. flat on your back. This looks pretty confident though. No. That is three. And Zavikas, well, he's got no. one victory to his credit so far and three third places. No. I called him Mr. Consistency in the last event and he certainly is that. No. This is looking pretty good. Seven Down. reps, looking comfortable. Seven. Tremendously Down. strong upper body. Down. That's nine, and no sign of letting up. Ducks under, squats up, and pushes it Down. straight up with his arms. So ten reps, he's closing in on Samuelson Down. and Verastio. Not one failed lift so far. Down. This is getting perilously close. I'm sure the Swede and the Ukrainian will be watching closely. He draws level. One more to take the lead and a second victory in the final. And he's done it. Absolutely superb. One more for luck. Well, he's won the competition. I'm not sure he realizes it. I bet he lost count. When he recovers, though, he's going to be absolutely delighted. Superb victory over Samuelson, Verastiuk and the rest. You are in the lead, so what do you think? Uh, it's good that I lead, but in last event, I tired first time in my life. Very hard. <laughs> it's always I finished and a little bit tired, but now I am like empty. Zavikas running on empty maybe, but still managing 14 repetitions. Samuelson will have enjoyed that event, but Puzhinovsky is showing further signs of vulnerability, three points off the pace. This is Atlantis, Paradise Island. Trackball. For the final, we've added this container. That's an extra four ton for a combined weight of 18 tons 35 metres to the finish line, fastest time wins. Now that is a muscle tear and it means the end of the road for Carlsen. The way the competition is now, it's no point on hurting myself anymore. So just need to heal up and start training again. Well, you certainly have to admire Sven Carlsen's optimism, already talking about getting training for next year. Now, first up on the track, Marius Pudzianowski. And the truck has grown since the heats by five tons. We have the addition of a trailer hooked onto the back of that truck, so this is awesome. 
15 tonnes. They're not going to go hurtling down the runway here. It will be slow and steady, but remember what Marius did in the heat. About halfway down, he let go of that rope at the beginning and then just drove on using his legs. I don't think he's going to do it this time. But Pudzianowski is always brilliant at this truck pull, whether it's boats, trains, planes or trucks. The pole is certainly the master and he's looking pretty good here. The defending champion needs big points though if he's going to get this third title almost at the finish. The Huda goes 41.43 seconds for Marius Budzanowski. He looks absolutely spent. Not much left in the Bergmanis tank either. He struggled his way to a time of 43.59 seconds to pick up two points. Well, that was a good effort by Bigmanis, but it's still Marius who's in the lead at 41.43. Now, though, the turn of Verastiuk, joint leader with Zavikas, getting ready. ready. And with only two more events to go, this would be very useful if Verastiuk could really steal a march on everybody else. And I think that rope at the front is far more important this time round with the increase in weight of the truck than it was when it was only 10 tons. So it's Puzinovsky in the lead. Verastia trying to gain ground with every pull and every stride. Going solidly, not spectacular by any stretch of the imagination and most of the spectators won't actually believe what they're seeing. It is an enormous truck. And the clock is ticking away, he's going to be very close. He's got it, in the lead at 39.9. But how long can that lead last? And yet another strong man who's utterly exhausted. I'll do the wheelbarrow with no strength or power at all. That last event almost killed me. Well, it certainly is getting very tense at the top of the table. Magnus Samuelsson making his challenge now in the truck pull. Look at the size of Magnus's arms. I'll tell you what, they're bigger than most people's legs are. They're about 25 inches around. If you get a tape measure out and measure your thighs, I bet most of you will not have 25 inch thighs, that's for sure. They're absolutely huge and being put to very good benefit here. This is a good performance by Samuelson. He really came on strong in the safe lift, which was the last event. And this, I think, could be even better. Head down, back straight, legs pumping. Very close to the line now, and it is fast. It's very fast. 36.53. And the longer this final goes on, the better Magnus Samuelsson seems to get. Now the turn of Zidrina Savikas. What a time it was by Magnus Samuelsson. Verastiuk in second place, but the Swede is definitely in first place. Tell me when you are ready. So the joint leader with Verastiuk after the last event, away to a little bit of a slippery start there. This giant American truck begins to pick up speed. And the great thing about Savikas is he's got his head down, eyes focused on the ground, but he's pulling in exactly the right line. He's not wobbling from side to side. This is technically a very good effort indeed. A superb time set by Magnus. Verastiuk's time, 39.9 in second place. He's not going to beat Magnus this time, but he's going to be very close to the Ukrainians. Just inside. Wow, that was close. He's beaten Verastiuk's time by about 0.7 of a second. Falls flat on his face. Zvikas down, but clearly far from out. Samuelson coming with a late surge, but it looks like being much too late for the Swede. And going into the closing stages, this championship is going to be a two-horse race. Wheelbarrow race. The skipping race. Here's the skip, and there's 500 kilograms of sand in it already. 
Add to that a 100 kilogram barrel. Then you chuck in this 100 kilogram weight. At 15 metres, add this 100 kilogram steel box, or in old money, 16 stones. And to round things off, this 100 kilogram log, making 900 kilograms in all in your skip. And then there's still 15 metres to go to the finish line. My hands is very pain. Uh, only I must, I must finish. And finish second place this event with Barry the God for me. So Marius gets the dubious honour of having to go first in run. this wheelbarrow race. And next time you're doing some gardening, just remember how big this wheelbarrow is. Are you ready? <whistles> well, he's let his challenge slip just a little bit in terms of trying to retain his title. And this is going to be as much about endurance as it is about strength and power. A phenomenal 900 kilos in prospect as he weaves his way down the course. That really is the biggest wheelbarrow I think I've ever seen. But two first places by the big pole. Now, is he going to get it over? Yes, he does. That shows the power in his shoulders. He just swung that weight up there. Now around for the concrete block. And again, that looks very simple. Only the log to go for Marius. I just wonder whether he's left his challenge a little bit too late in terms of going for this title once more. There are all the objects safely in the wheelbarrow. Now it's the 15-meter sprint towards the end. He's just about busting out all over in terms of his muscles, my goodness. The time is crucial now. 66-04 for Marius. And now all he's going to have to do is sit and wait and see what everybody else does. And I hope you all could see just how hard that was. Well, it was even harder for Raymond's Bergmanis, who clearly had expended too much energy shopping. He finished last, but the powerful Virustruck was still going strong. He couldn't afford to let Zavikas get further ahead. And so it's our overall leader this time, Zadrunas Zavikas, leading in this Take final for the very first time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, he says. <whistles> so the time to beat, 66.04 by Marius. And next time you're walking down the street or you have a skip delivered to your house, just take a look at just how big these things are. They're not made of wood, they're made of solid iron. And if that wasn't bad enough, of course, they've got all these objects to throw in as well. Well, Marius just plonked that in, so does Zavikas. The chase is on now, not just for a fast time, but these guys really making their bid now to become the world's strongest man for 2004. One object to go. Now, these guys don't really like running around. They're not the most mobile of creatures, but they are incredibly powerful and strong. That goes without saying. And I think Zavikas is struggling just a little bit in terms of his endurance here. I was talking to Adrian Rollinson at Britain's Strongest Man once, and he started doing a bit of running and a bit of swimming to improve on his endurance. But he's chasing the clock now. 66.04 to beat. He's just outside it. That was so, so close. 66.93, and in fact, he's down in third place behind Vasil Verastyuk as well. For me, this is just an honor thing. Uh, I had three bad events. I just want to show everybody that I still am one of the absolute strongest men on this earth. And uh, with some luck, I can even get on to the podium. I tell you what, it would be a remarkable performance if he did make it onto the podium. He was quite a few points behind everybody else at the halfway stage. But he is beginning to make a move now on the leaders. Are you ready? There's only about 0.9 of a second between the top three at the moment. Now, we're talking about mobility before when we saw Zavikas. This guy is mobile. He can run. So it's all about the endurance factor, not the strength. We know he's got that. That goes in easily enough. He's worked on a farm in Sweden for many, many years. He's used to hard manual labor. 
for long periods at a time. And I just wonder whether that will do him the world of good in this event. The designers of these events must have had a thought as to what sort of effect it would have on everybody when they put these, I can't call them games, they're real tests, when they put them together. But I think Magnus Samuelsson will thank them for that. He's well suited to this. And now he's chasing the clock, just as Savikas did before him and everybody else. It is quick. It's very quick, in fact. I wonder if the Swede can get victory number two. Yes, he can. 59.71. Everybody applauds Magnus Samuelsson. And he is making that move on the leaders. But by how much, we'll have to wait and see. Samuelson in a class of his own there, seven seconds clear of the field, and Pujanovsky has given himself an outside chance by coming second, although it's very much an outside chance. It's Zvikas or Virostruk, you would think, for the title. Atlas Bergmanis first out. Well, Raymond's is going on his own because of the withdrawal of Sven Carlsen. And in recent years, the Latvian has finished in third place, in fourth place. And I fear now he's destined to finish in fifth place, but he wants to try and finish with a flourish. He's certainly capable of lifting all five stones, no doubt about that at all. A massive 160 kilos, stone number five weighs. A little bit of trouble with that one. It's very difficult to get a grip on those stones. It's a very awkward shape, unless, of course, you've got great long arms. It does help to wrap them around the stone and get a grip on your knees and then roll it up, your thighs, onto your chest and then up on the platform. This is all about pride now for Raymond. He hasn't got a chance of winning the contest, so I hope the crowd will rise to him. He's putting on quite a show here and determined to get that fifth stone. There's great sportsmanship between all the competitors, especially at this stage in the competition when they've been through so much and we still don't know who the champion is going to be. It's that close. It's one of the most exciting contests we've seen in years. And that is the end of Bergmanis' challenge for this year's competition. He will finish down in fifth place. A classic confrontation now between Marius Pujanovsky in defence of his title and Magnus Samuelsson. Defending champion Marius Pujanovsky really needs to win the Stones, but he's going against the world record holder in Magnus Samuelsson. Well, believe me when I say that Marius has got a chance of winning this title, but it all depends on his performance here. Five stones required, and of course he's going against the clock as well. And if either of the last two competitors, Zavikas or Verastiuk, finished in fourth place or worse, and Marius wins it, he might win that third title. I'm surprised at Samuelsson. Normally Samuelsson is the king of the stones, but so far it's Marius who is the king. But will he be world's strongest man? That is the big question mark. Samuelsson, an agonizing fifth and final stone, but a superb time by Marius. 27.13 and he will have to wait and see if he can become the champion for a third time so can the title go lithuania's way or can it go to the ukraine you're about to find yeah, out really. last year both varischuk and savikist finish on the podium this year it's down to the stones and one of these guys will be crowned the world's strongest man well, there is an outside chance, of course, that Marius could retain his title, but it really is a long shot. Verastiuk off to the quickest start, being chased down by Zavikas. But it's all about Vasil Verastiuk, whoever wins this event between the two of them, providing they don't finish in fourth place or lower, is going to become the new world's strongest man. And Marius, I think, knows his title has gone. Vasil Verastiuk is on the final stone and he's got it. We have a new world's strongest man, and the Ukraine have their very first world's strongest man. Superb! So the title moves from Poland to the Ukraine, but for Lithuania, it's second place again. So close. Yeah, three times second. Uh, it's too much. And uh, this year I was very close to first place. 
and uh, but I beat last year champion. It's not so bad. Well, since the competition was filmed, it's been announced by the sports governing body that Marius Pujanovski failed a drugs test. And so as a result, Magnus Samuelsson moves up to third place and the Swede gets another podium finish. But that shouldn't detract from what was a magnificent performance by Virastruk. He is the world's strongest man and he wants the world to know. Well, if Vasil Verastyuk is not the happiest man in the world at the moment, he certainly is the strongest. A superb performance by the Ukrainian. And he will lift the Metrex trophy and become world's strongest man for 2004. Let's not forget Zavikas, second for the third time in a row. But sheer delight for this fella. A superb performer, a superb entertainer, and he is the world's strongest man. So Vasil Virastruk is the strongest of the strong and adds his name to the list of great champions over the past 25 years. From all of us at World's Strongest Man and Atlantis Paradise Island, goodbye.